In this short video, we're going to try to answer a question that has come up several times over the last several months, and that is whether or not this hog holster or pretty much any Kydex holster is going to damage the finish on your pistol. We're going to talk about that coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me here in the garage tonight. We're, um, it's raining outside. I'm actually trying out my brand new camera. It's a Panasonic GH4, so we'll see how that goes. But um, I wanted to make a quick video just to kind of hopefully answer a question I've gotten a lot over the past few months. And, and it's, it seemed like, especially since I made the last Hog Holsters video. You may be aware, by the way, that Hog Holsters is a channel sponsor and that John Abbott from Hog Holsters has become a very good friend of mine. Anyway, just to cut to the chase, I said I was going to make this a quick video. Uh, one of the questions I've had from a lot of people is whether or not this Kydex holster, because it is a stiff plastic, it's going to damage the finish on your firearm. So let me say, first of all, uh, and I mean no disrespect by this whatsoever, but in my opinion, who cares, okay? Uh, this is not a piece of jewelry. This is a tool. And one more thing I'll say, and then I'll show you my, 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 this pistol here. So um, all I can say definitively about is a Glock pistol, because that is what I've been carrying for decades now. But this is the actual pistol that I've been carrying for three, two and a half, three years every day until um, about six months ago, I got the uh, I got the the Gen 5 MOS with an RMR. Let me just reholster that baby because she's dangered up. But this this exact pistol is the one that I went through the fighting pistol class at Tactical Response two day class. So it was holstered and unholstered numerous numerous times. It was dropped on the ground. It was rolled around in the dirt. Um, it's been holstered and, and unholstered, reholstered numerous times doing um, dry firing practice and stuff like that. Always in a hog holster. This 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 pistol's been in a hog holster since the very day I bought it. So it's never never seen any other holster. And let me just give you some close ups of it. You can decide for yourself whether or not the finish is damaged on it okay so first of all just to show you we are empty and safe here and let's take a take a quick gander at the old glock 19 and as far as i can see there is very very little indication of wear at all no holster wear and that's just the shine of the lights and maybe a couple little scratches up in here where i dropped it during the training class or something but other than that this thing is absolutely, absolutely pristine. So here's the inside, by the way, of the hog holster, just so you can see. And it is very, very, very smooth in there. So not a lot of roughness whatsoever to cause any problem with your pistol. Okay, and just want to shine a little light on it, just so you can see there's no, uh, no funny business going on here. Zero holster wear. Okay, well, hopefully, as you could see, there is zero holster wear I can detect on my Glock 19 that has only ever lived in this Hog Holsters Kydex holster. And again, I've been through uh, two training classes that I know of since I got this particular pistol, and it's been holstered and unholstered and reholstered numerous times between training classes and dry fire practice and everything else. And it's... um. None the worse for wear. Couple, maybe a couple of little scratches that that maybe where I dropped it. But again, let me just say, I don't care. I'm not worried about that. It wouldn't concern me if if it was if it was worn all to pieces because that doesn't affect the functionality of it. And this is a tool, not a piece of jewelry to me. But again, if you're concerned with that, the only thing I can tell you for sure is um, is about my pistol, which is a Glock. So if you got a Glock, you're probably going to have similar results. But um, zero zero issues with it. And I'm pretty sure if you got any kind of a modern pistol, it's going to be about the same. So um, there's that. And hopefully you're, if you're somebody that had the question of whether that hog holster is going to mess up your pistol, because maybe you're just used to leather. I'm telling you, I used to carry my pistols in a leather holster until I discovered hog holsters. And 
man, once you go hog, you never go back, as they say. So anyway, hopefully this has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday, every Saturday, sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, please go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe. Subscribe to my weekly email newsletter, and every week I'll send you an email with links to the previous week's videos, plus any news, offers, or deals I think you might be interested in. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.